every dive you expect to see something different, something new, something exciting. An underwater wonderland right off our coral coast. I think you could spend a lifetime exploring the reefs off Durian Bay. When you think of tourist trails, walks and hikes come to mind. Now the first of its kind in WA, just two hours from Perth lies an attraction below the surface. It allows a lot of people to have their first introduction with the, you know, the marine life of this section of the coast. Durian Bay's Marine Park coordinator Paul Jennings says the community joined forces to build the artificial snorkel trail. To escape the, the rat race of the city and you know, get out on the water and um, really appreciate some of the fantastic things we have here to offer. No need for a boat or four-wheel drive, just 25 metres off the shore is the busy hustle and bustle below. A crayfish nursery plus this eight-legged creature. A lionfish, which are a tropical species, take up residence, octopus. It's just beautiful under here. Everyone's claimed their own little piece of real estate. Fish, crayfish, just magnificent. You'll see underwater signs, so they'll sort of guide you along. You can read one, learn about the creatures that you're seeing. It was a project months in the making, constructing 79 concrete reef balls to house the bay's marine life. We made them um, over a period of probably about two months. Ian Stiles from the Durian Bay Men's Shed was just one of the volunteers behind the project. We had uh, concrete mixes and uh, I was very uh, amazed and proud of how, how the guys were working. But they were even working in the rain to, to get uh, these balls operated. The team used giant moulds to create three different sized concrete igloos. Weighing up to three quarters of a tonne each, it required two large pontoons and four teams of volunteers to move the balls to their new home. Probably the only negative thing that I've, I've heard that there's not enough reef balls out there. Two years since the project was complete, the trail has become prime real estate and all the locals know who lives where. There's always something new to see and even old friends so you'll go back and see the same fish or the same crayfish or the same octopus. The scenery and the water here is absolutely beautiful so it's the best spot for it. If you're in need of a guide, Chris Zivitz takes visitors on a tour of the Coral Coast. Anything from adrenaline sports to nature walks so there's something for everyone here. Whether you want to dive deep or admire the water at surface level on paddle boards, Chris says you can pack it all in in a day trip. Everything here is just worth a visit. Uh, people come for one day and they end up staying three. Durian has gained the reputation as the jewel of the central west coast and it's not hard to see why. With a population of just 1,500 people, you'll feel at one with the water as soon as you step off dry land. It's great to have a sink on your doorstep, it's accessible. You know, just get that salt water fix, go in the water, see who's living on the, re on the snorkel trail at the time. Um, there's always someone new.